안녕. 안녕. I'm Jay. I'm Mike. I'm Sam. All right. Today we are here at Dongdaemun Station. Today we're actually going to go check out Dongdaemun Market, uh, which actually has a bunch of little food alleys. Uh, so we're going to go check out the Takamari uh, Alley, uh, which literally translates into one chicken. Uh, so it's a type of soup. So we'll show you what it looks like. So let's head out. Sounds good. Let's go. Which way? That way. Uh, <laughs> So this is Dongnaemun, and Dongnaemun literally translates into the East Gates, and this is the East Gate right here. And right here, there's a little bit of the uh, Seoul Fortress wall that's still left over. This right here is a small little alley going towards the alley that we're going to, uh, which is just a few little stalls that serve small little bites. This is uh, Grilled Fish Alley, which is the entrance into one of the food alleys. This is also where you can sample a few different types of, different types of fish and have them grilled up per order. We finally made it to the front of the restaurant. So let's go check it out. Shall we go? All right, let's go. All right, on. I'm exciting. Let's go. It's so busy. So the menu here is very, very simple. So they basically have one whole chicken, uh, which is the standard order. So once you sit down, they'll bring it right to you. Uh, you can add another chicken if you would like. There's tons of uh, side dishes that you can add. There's also uh, hand cut noodles. There's some rice cakes. There's some potatoes, some leeks. Uh, you can add extra to it. Before you even order, they'll bring out one whole chicken that's been cooked about halfway through. You can add another whole chicken, but you can't order half a chicken like you can at other places. They light the stove and start cutting up the whole chicken for you right in front of you. As you can see, there are a few potatoes and some sliced leeks. You can add other sides such as rice cakes, noodles, and even more potatoes to your liking. Once the chicken is all cut up for you, you just have to let it cook for a little bit longer to make sure that it's cooked all the way through. I recommend adding the minced garlic they bring to you into the broth because, well, garlic just makes everything better. You can always ask for more for free. So there are a few things that are actually self-service here at the restaurant, which is the water and the kimchi. The kimchi, there's a huge vat of it in the middle of the restaurant on whatever floor that you're at. And you just have to grab a metal bowl and throw in as much kimchi as you want to eat. The kimchi here is a little bit different than some of the other places where it's a little bit milder and a little bit sweeter. Uh, I think it complements the chicken quite well, so I recommend to bring a lot of the kimchi with you. Obviously, just take whatever you can handle. So the making of your own sauce. So this is all up to you. You can make it to your liking. So there's going to be three bottles on the table. One is going to be soy sauce, the other vinegar, and spicy yellow mustard. And there's going to be going to be a fourth container, which basically is a tadegi. And the tadegi is a mixture of chili paste, chili powder, some minced onions, some minced garlic. There's a few other ingredients that go into it, but everybody makes their own a little bit differently. Here, it's not really too spicy, so you can give yourself a pretty healthy serving of it. Add a little bit of the vinegar, which I like to add a, quite a bit because I like mine a little bit more acidic. Uh, add a little bit of soy sauce and then add the spicy mustard if you want to make it a little bit more wasabi-ish. Mix it all together and that's going to be your tipping sauce for your chicken. The chicken comes about half cooked when they bring it out to you. So just let it come to a roaring boil. Let it boil for about another 10 minutes or so. Keep an eye on it just to make sure that it's not getting overcooked. Uh, if you've ever cooked chicken, you don't want overcooked chicken because it gets rubbery and very tough. Uh, while you're waiting for the chicken to cook off, skim off some of the fat off the top so that you have a clean broth and uh, add some of the uh, minced garlic they get for you and you're ready to eat. Alright, for me, so I like to get the, uh, I like to taste the broth first to see if it's uh, properly seasoned and oh yeah. So you need like two, uh, two sides of the garlic, of the fresh garlic. Uh, and that makes it taste amazing. So, uh, I'm gonna give a little taste on the chicken. So it's really, really hot, so just make sure that you're careful and you don't burn yourself. So let it kind of cool down for a second. Dip into your sauce. If you did your sauce right, it's gonna be good. It's hot. Clean chicken flavor. Mm. I can taste a little bit ginger. It's quite salty actually. It's, uh, salty and very chickeny. Drizzled in sauce. Mm. 
chicken is well cooked, but it's not tough. It's actually quite soft, and uh, chicken may be a little rich, but the vinegar and the spicy really cuts the greasiness. It's really good. I like it. It's really hot. Careful. Yeah. So when you come to this restaurant, you definitely have to order some of the extra sides. So we decided to get some rice cakes and some fresh noodles. The rice cakes only take about 3-4 to four minutes before they basically turn into mush. So you want to kind of pull them out before then while they're soft and chewy and ready to eat. If you've ever cooked fresh pasta, fresh pasta basically takes half the amount of time as it does for dried pasta. So likewise, you want to cook the raw pasta about 5 minutes or so and you're ready to eat. Uh, it's a great source of controversy. Some people like to add kimchi into the broth. And they also like, some people, they also like to add uh, this spicy chili mix adegi, into the broth. And uh, personally, I like clear soup as it is, but some people like to add these too. And I don't eat kimchi, so no, no. For my more garlic. We got more broth, so more garlic. So. Tastes like rice cake. Not bad. Sauce. Better. Oh. To yell to call over to waitstaff would be considered rude anywhere else in the world, but in Korea, it's actually pretty normal. So to call over to waitstaff, you yell, Togyo, which literally means over here. To make the chuk or the porridge, it's a little bit different here than it is at other places. So at other places, they typically make it for you, but here you actually have to make it by yourself. So they literally just bring out a bowl of rice and you have to make your own porridge. So the broth has been reducing for quite some time now since you've been cooking the chicken and all the other extras. So just make sure you pour out some of the broth so that you have a good ratio of broth to rice ratio. Put the rice in, smash the rice down a little bit, mix it around, let it reduce for a little bit, and you're ready to eat. Porridge. Two. Ah, she's not.